Hey guys, Great Scott Moments, and so this is video five. We're talking about how to be happy all of our life. And so, one of the steps is not only do we have to want to be happy, but we have to grow. Okay, there's no way that we can stay stagnant in our spirit, in our heart, in, in our achievements, and be extremely happy about it. There's always got to be movement. And that's why, you know, these quotes like, leaders are readers, and you always have to be a student in life. You always have to be out there looking and examining and saying, how can I get more fulfillment? How can I bring more into it? Because, you know, maybe there was a time when you had, you made $1,000 online, and you were so happy. And then the next month you had made $1,000, and you were so happy. And then the next month you made $1,000. No progression. It's just the same amount. Well, you suddenly, you, you get a tolerance to that. And you're like, okay, yeah, I made that. I, I want more. I want 10,000. I want 100,000. I want more, 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 more. Um, and that's the way life is. And so, you know, our happiness when we're tied to that is going to be on progression. Once we hit our expectation, we're going to raise the bar and have another expectation. Okay? Um, lots of people are frustrated with this. But, um, you know, you hear like famous actors killing themselves because they've never raised their bar and they, or they found out that, hey, I can't, I can't get to the next level or I can't see any next level. And that's where they come into real bad expectations and they don't actually sit down with someone who can think clearly with them and give them goals to go after or give them some hope for moving towards something. That's kind of a side point. But um, growth, people, you know, we have to know where our expectations are, where our goals are, and to meet them, we need to look inside. We need to look at those around us who can help us, whether it's relationships. Hey, sometimes a counselor is a wonderful thing because he can give you insights. Oh, man, I was blind to that. Is that what I do? Wow, okay, I want to change that because I want to be a better me or in business and hey oh so this is another skill that I need to develop I need to be actually nice to people I'm a good salesman do I really have to be do I have to care yeah you do and if you care you're gonna be that much more successful and so <clears throat> this is all on progressing and going further and guys that is so material to being happy because uh, Earl Nightingale said, you know, it, success is the natural progression, realization of a realization of a worthwhile dream or goal. Okay, you're heading for something. Something's out there on the horizon and you're moving there and you're getting there. And that is generating all that excitement and that energy. You're like, I'm going to get there and it's awesome and I'm so excited. And the more crowd you have around you that are supporting you, even more energy. They're like, yeah, you can do it, man. Awesome. Guys, that's going to give you such a wonderful life. And stay away from those people that, that are naysayers, that are like, ah, oh, you know, you can't do it. What are you doing? You know, you're just like me. Let's have a beer and, you know, forget about life for a while. And, you know, love on them. They mean well, but they're just, they're not growing right now. And that's why they're stagnant. And that's why they want to drag everyone back down. So guys, get yourself in the zone. Get your goals. See where your expectations are. Make sure they're realized or realizable or that they're actually attainable. And then get moving. Okay? We'll talk to you guys in the next part. Bye.